Good morning. Welcome to Tim Talk 11. We are here at the site of Carl F. Anderson Field here at the uh, Milton High School Stadium to talk about Jeremy's favorite band, Tesla and Signs. Um, so, as we uh, as we are here uh, to talk about this sign in particular, um, let's start by talking about Carl F. Anderson. Jeremy, Bill Horn, our high school principal, could you please tell us about Carl F. Anderson? Yeah, Carl F. Anderson was a, a teacher and a longtime coach here at Milton High School. Uh, for most people here, uh, you know who he was, but for, he was here for. Uh, a, a very long time. He was the very first coach of Milton Union High School. Uh, he is one of the, uh, he is actually inducted the high school coaches, Wisconsin football high school coaches, uh, Hall of Fame, he along with Jerry Schlem. Uh, actually, we only had uh, five head coaches in the history of Milton High School. He was the first. Uh, a beloved individual uh, and who did an awful lot for the very beginnings of the athletic programs here at Milton High School. Uh, it's actually uh, this fall is going to be the 50th year of Anderson Field uh, after we celebrating the 50th class to graduate from Milton High School. Awesome. But while we're here, we're talking about this specific sign. We're joined by Stephen Schantz, our Billions and Grounds Supervisor. And Stephen, could you tell us about this sign and the plans for updating it? Absolutely. Due to the condition of the existing sign, we are not able to do any restoration to the one that we have currently. So we will be looking at uh, utilizing leftover bricks from the construction out, out at Harmony in 2005, as well as working with the sign company to supply us with two new M's and the replacement Carl F. Anderson sign in the middle. Excellent. Well, we look forward to the updated process and the progress on the sign. And speaking of signs, we're going to head to the other side of the stadium and talk about a different sign. All right. Okay, we are now at the entranceway of the stadium, and we're here to look at some other signs. So, Jeremy, could you tell us about these other signs that are here at the entrance of the stadium? All right, Jim. Yeah, you know, the, uh, the signs that we have here that have been, that have been uh, uh, posted in front of the stadium by the, the ticket booth here uh, show a little bit more about the history of Anderson Field. You know, over those 50 years, obviously, our mascot has changed from the Redmen uh, to the Red Hawks, and, and we've just had a recent Red Hawk change in the mascot just in the last couple of years. Uh, one of these signs, however, has had some additional uh, special meeting, and I think uh, Stephen's going to talk about that. Uh, this Redmond Country sign right here has a, has a special meaning behind it. This sign was, was dedicated in memory of Lyle Thompson. Uh, for those people that don't know who Lyle Thompson was, he was the buildings and grounds supervisor for many, many years, and he dedicated a lot, a lot of his life to making these buildings and grounds specifically the high school, a great place for many, many years. And when he passed away, this sign was originally located outside the courtyard before the 1999 edition of the auditorium. And now it is going to be placed here as part of a, a future historical walk at Carl F. Anderson Stadium. And with the signs placed where they are right now, we are also working on developing a master plan for future stadium improvements. And the phase one of that process is going to be developing our historical walk where these signs will be prominently displayed along with many other historical artifacts with Carl F. Anderson Stadium and other accomplishments and, and artifacts that we have uh, accumulated throughout the years. You know, there's I've had some questions about what was what was Redmond country. So I did some some looking into it too. And you know, I'm a history guy as well as I coached football once upon a time ago. But in the 1986 football season, the very first state championship that Milton High School had, uh, the the this is Redmond country was the cheer uh, that really got the crowd and the students and parents fired up. Uh, that E6 season was a very special season here in Milton. Again, first state championship, uh, and when the sign was made a couple years later in memory of Lyle, uh, it seemed very appropriate at the time that they, when they acknowledged that this was indeed Milton's Redmond country, uh, and that's where the, the phrase Redmond country came from. Thank you gentlemen for sharing some of the history of Carl F. Anderson Stadium and telling us about the signage and the different happenings that are going on around here. The signs are great representations and visuals of, of who we are as a community, and it's important for us to celebrate the past as we also celebrate and build towards the future. So again, thank you so much. We appreciate you tuning in to Tim Talk 11. Stay tuned for Tim Talk 12 in the near future.